really spicy. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Daphne Oz and thank you for joining me inside my kitchen. Uh, today I'm going to show you one of my all-time favorite recipes. It's a chicken paillard with melon salsa fresca. I first had a version of this dish when my family and I were on vacation in the islands. It really is simple, flavorful, and really feels totally indulgent and exciting at the same time. Okay, here's what you're gonna need. Boneless, skinless chicken breast, fresh lime juice, fresh ginger, avocado, some fresh scallions. You also want some fresh herb. I'm gonna use fresh parsley today, fresh fruit, watermelon, and some mango as well. Then I'm gonna add some chili. And we're gonna throw it all together with a little olive oil, a little salt, and you're gonna be amazed. All right, first up, you're going to pound the chicken breast out to about half inch thick, and this is your chance to get out any pent up aggression that you might have had during the day. And you can use a mallet for that, but if you don't have a mallet, the bottom of a skillet works perfectly. One of the things that I like to do is actually wrap my cutting board with plastic wrap. All right, go to town. All right, now check out how easy cleanup is. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, now that I have all four chicken breasts nice and even thickness, I'm gonna season them with salt and set them aside while I make the salsa. So first up, we're gonna mince some ginger and chop up some scallions. Philo, my two and a half year old, loves this dish. I leave the chili out of hers, but the fruit makes it really accessible for her. She loves chicken. All right, next up, you're gonna grab some fresh herbs. Like I said, I'm gonna use parsley today, um, but any kind of soft, fresh herb works really nicely here. I also like to grow my own. I keep a little windowsill potter. Make it rain. You're gonna add some chili now and you really want to base this on like how much heat you actually want to eat. So I'm gonna show you some options that you're easily gonna find at your supermarket. The lowest heat would be the Fresno. Jalapeno is a little bit spicier, a little bit more of a biting heat. This is called a habanero. This is the mother load. It will burn your mouth off. If you were to take a bite of this, it would be game over, all done. For myself, I would do a little slice like that, straight through the pepper, drop it into the salsa about an hour before you're ready to use it, and it will infuse the whole thing with just the right amount of hellfire heat. I'm gonna also add in a little bit of this jalapeno. Next up, I'm gonna cut up some avocado and just scoop it right into the bowl. Okay, I'm gonna add my olive oil into the recipe right now because I want a little bit of liquid as I start adding the fruits for the habanero to be steeping in and give us some of that heat. I'm also gonna add a nice pinch of that kosher salt. To add to this liquid, I'm also gonna do the juice of two limes. Mango, up next. Now, here's where you can really kind of spice it up and vary it depending on when in the year you're making this. In the fall and in the winter, dried fruits are great as well. Um, you know, dried cherries, dried cranberries work fine. All right, last but not least, we're gonna get some watermelon. Oh, so flavorful, so bright, so delicious, so vibrant. Now let's make that chicken. So I'm gonna go two at a time in here. I will say trying to lose weight after having baby number two has been its own situation. And having meals like this on hand makes it possible for me to try to eat healthily and also try to eat happily. And this is hitting the bullseye for me on all those levels. Got a piece of chicken breast. Ladle some of this amazing fruit and chili and lime and ginger salsa right on top. I seriously feel like I'm sitting on a beach right now. Who doesn't want a vacation in their mouth? 